but no, no, what was it? What was Seems it? Because to I people. used to see you yeah. uh, online show and I see mindset, a love, love show, and people used to like. haven't seen me before my name is Claire and welcome back to another episode of the classy chat show and today we have a very special guest here look at who we have um, he's called mindset UG mindset Uganda hello mindset welcome hello, welcome to you? the show hello I'm fine how are you oh, I'm fine thank you so guys um, like I said we always bring people on the show like to talk about what they do so if you're out there and you want to tell us what you are doing at the moment if you have a business or you what you do in your career anything if you want to share any inspirational story you're welcome to come to the show there is an email down in the description box below so please reach out and uh, once again we're welcoming our special guest today mindset mindset yeah nice so <laughs> nice to see you as nice well you. so me and mindset like i've known each other like a while like in the show we're gonna tell you about you know how we met and how we happen to be here today so i know like he's one of the ugandans who are very um popular online they have a huge following isn't it mindset you have a lot of people it's getting there it's getting there it's, yeah, it's a work so, in progress yeah work in progress mm. right so mindset has a lot of people who follow what he does who want to hear from him mm. and that's why we have brought him to the show and he is an inspirational person here i know he's very hard working and he's going to tell us a bit about himself mindset can you please tell us like I because I know you from before but mm. I don't even use the your real name like mm. I'm using your brand name mindset mindset so today I guess the people watching us would like to know uh, the name mindset UG or mindset Uganda how it came about and first what's your real name and tell us a bit about your background like childhood like back home and here yeah um, it's, it's a pleasure to be here with Claire obviously Uh, I love the name mindset. Uh, the, the way, the reason why I, I adopted the name mindset, I actually adopted, it, and I'm legally going to call myself that, even in my documents, travel documents, simply because um, I used to read a lot about the mind. Okay. You know, and coming from Uganda, Uganda holds a very special place for me. It's a place where I was born. I met my friends. Um, I went to school, and um, well, reading about the mindset and knowing how powerful the mind is uh, in Uganda, I came up with the concept of calling myself the mindset of Uganda. I loved it. I loved the way it was rhyming. I loved um, it as well. Yeah, I loved the way it was because everything is about the mind anyway. Um, I mean, um, getting rich is about mindset. Getting being well is about the mindset. Um, looking after kids is about the mindset. Everything you, 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 you name in life, yeah. it's the most commonly used word. speaker will use the word mindset if you can go and check it out and um, yeah that's um, that's why I love to call myself mindset and right now I live here and uh, it's a lovely place to live but like I said Uganda holds a special place in my heart okay um, so you're originally from Uganda I'm mindset. originally from Uganda so if you could please start from um, what's your real name do you want to share that with us I love to call myself mindset mindset yes. and that's it yeah yes. so you, you <laughs> Everybody who is getting to know you from now on, they, they, they need to know your mindset, yeah, mindset. UG. Is it yeah, just mindset? Legally, mindset, mindset Uganda. Mindset Uganda. Uganda yes. yes. Okay, and please don't, 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 don't play with that brand. If you call yourself, my, I'll take you to court. It's <laughs> legally my name. <laughs> yes. You have to register it first. I have before registered you want it. People I have registered it. it, actually. Yeah, you have. have yeah. Yeah. And it's going to be in your passport, you I have registered it and I'm adopting it. Uh, for so many reasons because I don't like to tag myself with religion uh, tribe because we have so many tribes in Uganda if I yeah. call myself mindset it's hard for you to tag me on a religion it's hard for you to tag me on, um, on, a, on a tribe 
So it's, it's a general thing. I would simply call myself Mindset Uganda. Uganda. Yes. Okay, so you say you don't want to tell us why your real names are. We leave that alone. And then it's For back security home in reasons. U security reasons. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so tell us, back home in Uganda, where did you grow up like? Um, I grew up in Makindye, uh, a place called Madidisa. <laughs> windows. The reason why it's called Madidisa, they used to make windows. It was the first place in Kampala where windows were manufactured. Wow, I so yes, even know you're that. learning something new today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're learning yeah, something it's new called today. Madirisa. Madirisa yeah. in uh, in Machindo Division, mm -hmm. Sabagabo. Yeah. Uh, lovely place, a place which holds a lot of memories for me. Mm -hmm. A place where I, I first just my first girlfriends. No, no. <laughs> so this is the real mind, mindset of yes. he had to drop that one. Yeah, in there. I mean, yeah. It's first place. Okay. And uh, yeah, yeah, a place uh, I learned to kick the ball. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, and who are your parents? Do you have any siblings? Uh, my parents, uh, my parents is my my father is called Alhaj Abdul Matovu. Um, my mother she's called uh, Nabunya Hadija, Hajati Nabunya Hadija. Uh, they're both still alive. Um, and uh, we uh, they're not together, but um, very very supportive parents. Yes, and uh, I must applaud them because uh, I'm not a very easy son. But, you know, I'm, you I'm haven't here. been easy, but <laughs> you're here. <laughs> I'm just mindset. <laughs> yeah. Yes. All right. So um, now, tell us a bit, a bit about your education in Uganda, like briefly. Um, I went to Chibui. Uh, I went what nursery? You want me to start with nursery? No, oh, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Nursery, like, nursery. I started off. Um, I went to so many nursery schools for some reason. I don't know why, but. Um, nursery school then I went to uh, Mother's Union in Rubaga. Is it still there Mother's um, Union? I hope it is. Yeah. And uh, I went to Chibuli demonstration Yeah. and then I went to Chibuli secondary for my senior one and my senior two. Then I left to come to this country. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah then I came here yeah. then I went to Hackney College um, where I did a diploma. Sorry I wanted to Surprisingly, strange. because we never met in school, like maybe we never you, met. Maybe, maybe, maybe you were just passing by. Maybe, you were, <laughs> maybe you were younger. I, I may have been maybe younger or older, Probably I don't old, know. Yeah. Yeah. But what? Because you say S2, you came here, I isn't came, yes, it? Yes. So maybe that's the reason now. We Probably, know the yeah. real reason yeah. because um, if you left in secondary, senior two, senior then two. That, that must have been the reason. So yeah. you headed off to London because I continued my education there because I was wondering for somebody who has like a personality like, my, like mindset has like you can't maybe miss it was quite the quiet school. ones because you know, normally in school it's, it's, yeah. as we grow as we get older we tend to adopt different personalities depending on the friends that we have um, and even the environment as well I've always been very confident that's yeah. one thing I must give myself because my father's always told me as a man point across make sure you put that point across have the confidence it's like you as well you don't like a man to approach you he's not confident you start asking yourself if he's not confident enough to talk to me how is he going to be confident to keep me you know what i mean yeah. so i've always had that the confidence yeah. bit of me and i always believe that confidence is everything but not overconfident because you, you you come up with us as being cocky you know yeah, not yeah, like arrogant, <laughs> arrogant. Uh, yeah. so you have to balance yeah, stuff yeah. like that yeah yeah, yeah. And then you came here, you went to Hackney. I went to Hackney College, yes. Hackney College, yes. and after there? I went to Hackney College. I didn't go to university for some reason, mm. but um, I did electrics. Um, I did electrical engineering in Hackney College. Um, well, there was so much that was going on, you know, normally because it's a new system. Um, I got into new friends, uh, new crowds, and everything changed. Then, much later, then I went to Croydon College. To finish my electrics which I'm actually, I'm actually didn't even finish them um, I had to go back this year to finish it. this year yeah this 2021 yes. what course were you yes, finishing I'm electric electric engineering all right at yes. college level so are you gonna pass away um no you don't you don't have to go to university to university for electrics right. fortunately because yeah. um 
you could um you could do it uh you could do uh, a level two level three then do 160 portfolios depending because in the uk currently there's um there's lots of um because of the, how the industry is set up yeah. they don't encourage electricians to go to university yeah you can equally go and do a level three like level four which is, is equivalent to um a uni uh, university degree or an undergrad and um, that's what i'm pursuing at the moment okay. yeah that's good because some people Easily, I think, or now, it's something that I've been. I kept on doing it. Then, while I was doing it, I had my, I had my, my child, and after having my kids, obviously, um, you know, when it's a new family, it's a new thing. And I sort of like, I sort of, I wasn't in there. Then I said, let me come out, make a bit of money, because then my, my father had set me up. I said, the business have to be. Um, we've got a, a barber's in um, in Croydon. That's where I learned to actually to cut hair. My barbers were professional barber. Professional barber. Yes. Okay, we will come to the bit mm. about like what you do, and then you will tell us about the barber shop. Mm. And um, before we go to that, because you talked about the young family, yes. so you are a family man. Mindset, a, tell a us family. about. <laughs> are you man. married man? Do you have children? What man. is going on? <laughs> I'm a family man. Uh, yeah. I've got uh, my missus. Uh, we've been together for the last twelve years. Last 12 years, mine say yes. well done. Last 12 years we've been together yeah. and uh, we've got our lovely kids. I don't want to put the number, we still want more. Yeah. Yeah, if time and you know, and inshallah. Yeah, inshallah. Uh, inshallah. And uh, it's, uh, it's a lovely, willing. very humble, very humble uh, woman, mm. God fearing. I think she's, uh, she's made me into a better person. I must give this to her That's because cool. uh, we're the opposites of each other. She's, she's, yeah. she, she calms me down. She's, uh, she's she's the peacemaker. Oh, right. Yes, That's I'm more of the warmonger, <laughs> but yeah. she's the peacemaker. You need to be calm down. Yeah, 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 and yeah, she's yeah. the one. Lovely like, woman. Lovely yeah. woman. Yeah. So like you, you are a Muslim because you just say. I am a Muslim. I'm, I was born a Muslim. Yeah. Born a Muslim. Yeah. Uh, I believe that everything that we do in this life, in my life, revolves around the Creator. Yeah. Uh, without the Creator, I, I believe. Fearing God, Gaba to Gamba, where we're from. Yeah. The first knowledge, wisdom comes from knowing who your creator is. And it's something that I am um, very, very, uh, I'm looking for the right word. It's something that I'm very, it, that's very dear to me, my religion. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, like you say, it's very dear to you. And for Muslims, you mm. can have up to four wives. Oh, yes. So, you, are you, do, do you have more than one do you have one <laughs> because you you say your missus is there yes my missus is there what, what and, uh, plans do you have in the future because plans. this is why it's in the quran you know uh, at the moment things are, are still settled you know yeah uh, I, I, I don't want to rush it yeah. but if there's room for maybe another one or two maybe but it's not easy you know especially in this country it's not allowed mm. you're not allowed to have one legally i'm not some people have more than one yeah but me i mean if time for me to Time as well. You so just tell the people watching you know, mindset because yeah. people just say, "Oh, Muslim." No, 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 no. Not even Muslim, like all the men, like especially Uganda no, no, no. men, African it's, men. You have to afford it financially, yeah. spiritually. Um, what what other thing did I talk about? Uh, financially, financially, you say. Yeah, physically as well. I mean, yeah. you don't want to be with one woman, and you can't afford. You, you cannot maintain one woman, then you want to have the next one. I mean, yeah. it doesn't make any sense. But that's why I find most people do, no, like no, no, maybe no, no, no. running away from challenges and stuff. When one relationship becomes a challenge, then you find they get in two, three more. But I didn't even know, like here in the UK, you know, you're not legally, allowed. you're not allowed. No, you can't allowed. go to the registrar and register more no. than. No, 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 oh, no, no, no. So no. even if you're Muslim. It doesn't matter. Because the law of the land is this is a Christian country. Yeah. And these are Christian rules. Yeah. You know, because that's why we're headed by the Church of England. Yeah. You can't have more than one wife. Right. Some people have more than one, but they're not legally married. Not legally. Not so legally, but the law of the land. Traditional marriages, is it? It's, it's more religious. Re religious. Yeah, religious. Yeah. By religion, they're married by religion. Mm. Yeah. But not legally, because if anything happened to you, yeah. and she's not registered to you, and you know she's not your registered wife, yeah. nothing will come to her. I mean, she has no rights over you. You have no rights over her. 
the rights that you have are just you know, religious religious rights. Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Mm. So uh, thank you for that bit, my I want to ask, as a family man, you're African, you're Muslim, like we already know, you are in a foreign land. Obviously, we are in England. Mm. How do you find the challenges of family, raising children, marriage? Mm. Yeah. Um, Claire, raising a family, especially if you're from a different country, um, especially from an African setting to a European setting, it's, uh, it's got its challenges. Mm. But I think it has to do with the paradigm shift, the way we think. Yeah. Just like I told you, the mindset thing. Yeah, it's, mindset. It's all and about you're acceptance. Using all those terms. It's, for um, <laughs> you, you need to have a paradigm shift of knowing where you are. Yeah. And what to do and when to do it. Right. First, kids are raised differently from how me and you were raised in Africa. Here, the confidence comes back to the confidence that kids here, are, they have the ability to express their needs to their parents. Whereas me and you didn't have that. No. Uh, I think confidence was uh, something that was, uh, was defined as disrespecting your parents. Okay. Here is different. Here the child gets to know you more than the child back home. Cause they would know when you're sad, they're always with you. Yeah. Whereas back home, things were different. You had mates, uh, some of us were brought up by relatives. Uh, some of our fathers didn't know the classes we were in. They didn't know the size of shoes that we, wear, we wore. The kind of food we wanted. It was always one rule fits all. Here is always different rules for different things. Yeah. You know? And um, whereas it's very challenging, especially for us as Africans, with people who have not, who have not been born in these countries, it's, it's, a, it's a good challenge. We get to understand, our, understand ourselves as well, as parents from a different a background. Um, for parents who, who are very um, tradition, they find it very challenging. Especially like I told you, kids here, they, they will communicate about their needs. Whether it's going to make you happy or it's not. They get to a point where they become, we define it as challenging. But it's not challenging. It's, it's these little um, human beings trying to explain to you what they're all about. And that there needs to be a balance of getting to know what the child wants. And you as a parent, how do you get to the needs without feeling offended? Because as, as parents, I'm, I'm, don't get me wrong, I mean, we're not going to change things because we live here. We're always going to have our African ways. That's why some of us who are stuck in those African ways, we just choose not to have the kids. We just choose not to be around the kids. kids they do everything where you can grow up not having had a pump a chain from your father here it's very impossible from the time the child is born your father is there for me to see the human coming into this world i saw it in this country mm. with my own very eyes mm. and i must say it's one of my scariest moments in my life seeing a human being being born it's not Probably have one and never go back. Never go back, but we yeah. keep on going back. <laughs> but you keep going back. You say I'm not gonna go back, and you know, sit down with school and everything. But it's, it's a very, it's a very special moment. Very scary. It's very nerve-wracking for 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 men. You know, because you are going through it physically, but to me, it's psychological. Psychological. And I'm praying. I'm saying I, I wish this just oh, it's over. But luckily, my partner is one of those people that goes, one of those women that goes into the labor ward. I mean, uh, the most we've been there is probably 45 minutes. Mm. And boom. Babies out. But sometimes you, you get to the labor ward, someone has been there for seven hours. Yeah, more than seven hours. People, seven, yeah. 24 hours. Yes. Yeah, so it's, it's a joyful moment. 
I, and I must say this to Claire, to our viewers and everyone who is out there, especially African, African governments, please make it mandatory for the men to be around when their kids are born. Because back home where we're from, it's usually the man is probably in his shop, he's saying, ah, mo, 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 kaza, that the yeah. You know what I mean? They I'm have like, to give him a call. I'm yeah. like, oh, was it a boy or a girl? Yeah. Or yeah. So you, you miss out on those moments where you get to understand your child better. And it creates the, and a bond. And it creates a bond as well. Bond, yeah. Yes, and yeah. you see the woman different from, it gives you the opportunity yeah. to look at the mother of your child different. Yeah. First, you, you've seen what she's been through. Secondly, you you know exactly what it is they go through. Yeah. You know? Mm. So uh, it, 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 it's, 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 um, it is something that must recommend for most of the country that we come from to, you know, make it mandatory mm. for men to be around when their kids are born. Yes. Okay, so what about in terms of like marriage because yes like um we've had kids here what about marriage like you know you see a lot of breakups yeah mm. people get together they're mm. happy families are you know but things turn out known um you know what i mean especially here there is a lot of broken families yeah so why why marriage is very challenging but there are challenges Okay. Why are marriages very challenging? Especially like... In the diaspora? Yes. Okay. This is what it is. Uh, in this country, people get married for different reasons. Right. First of all, the weather. The some, people, some, people, some people get married simply because they want to they wanna be in a cold bed by themselves. Yeah. But remember, you being married, you two humans are going to be together, but eventually there's going to be a child coming in. Yeah. What's going to happen to the winter? because they love you but because they you're like a security to them for them to exist legally in this country Thirdly, um, and this goes back to the African aspect of things yeah a man has got expectations from a woman especially from an African man but the settings here are different when you go to work Food. You don't expect a woman to come and make you food simply because you're a man in the house. Because that's how things are back home. Mm. And for the woman as well, it's how she gets that Africanism out of the man, which is not easy. Because remember, as much as you want to be, you're becoming European because you are becoming that. You've got to remember this man has been has been a big portion of her life outside. That's how, yeah. He's he, he knows different things. He doesn't know any better unless you try to explain to him and uh, you try to help him have the paradigm shift how he's gonna approach the relationship but in order for him to for you to help the women to help the men have to be also be able to take on that help not to be strong-headed doesn't mean you're not gonna be you're not gonna be a man no, it doesn't take your manhood away from you. And even the woman as well. It's, um, here is, um, there's a lot of things as well. Back home, women don't earn as much money as the women earn the money here. M women gives, uh, money gives people power. Some women, when they have the money, they feel like there's no need for them to have the money. I'm not saying all women. I'm saying for some women for some, yeah. who have grown up in settings where the person that you, the breadwinner is always the man he is always going to dictate that uh, he's going to dictate the rules and here we are in a scenario claire you're earning money and your husband is earning money uh, and the man is I'm looking after the kids. You're always working, but the money is not is not sin. So why should I keep you? 
then the fighting will start or you're disrespecting me now so you're not why listening wouldn't the money be seized? Uh, <laughs> you, you sometimes man it, yeah. it, it, it's, it's more like a like a game yeah. it's, i mean let me try to leave her to do the thing so our money can go down and yeah. i'll have more money the more money i have yeah. the more rules i'll set the more what I mean? So that's how you play it. I'm not guys. saying, not I'm not you. saying all of us, but not I'm saying, you in particular, I'm but saying I because mean. It, as an African man, it, it gives you that pride to have money. When you have the money, you set the rules. Uh, I mean, it, it's just a pride thing. Yeah. It's just a pride thing. And the other thing, it's the system. Mm. This system is very clever. Yeah. The system creates a scenario where you and the husband will actually fight over nothing. Why? Because the system doesn't want a family unit to be together. Because once the family unit is there, it means you're able to support your kids. The father is there, the mother is there. Yeah. We have jobs here which require people that never went to school. If everyone goes to school, who's going to do all these jobs? Mm. Most of these politicians in this country, they're whipped in school. They're disciplined. But the system doesn't want you to discipline your child. And as a parent, if you can't discipline your child, mm. what's going to happen? Only leverage that you have to is the discipline, the enforcement. So you think the system here as well contributes obviously, to like family obviously, break, obviously, break obviously, obviously, it's very smart. It's like I told you, David Cameron, and I'm sorry to mention names, but most of the politicians, I'm going to mention the names because these are public figures. <laughs> most politicians here, the schools that you go to, eat them. Man, the level of discipline is way up there. Everything has to be done in a systematic order. You are too busy. You're working more than 12 hours. The father is busy. And who do you have? Your oldest child looking after their siblings. A child looking after kids. Now think about this. You're a single mother. Where you have to do 12 hours. By the time you come home, your child is got homework. You're not going to do it. Do it with the child. The father is not there because you selfishly, you and him selfishly, you're fighting. And what's going to happen? Your child is going to... child is going to wake up and say you know what dad mom i don't think school is for me but your child needs shoes they need nice things this is a country where you can't put on old things all the time you have to go out and you know yeah and change the season your child is going to go to the supermarket and look for a little job you know and the system has achieved something your child is going to go to school and the system has somebody to work and pay the taxes yeah there is a lot of challenges by the sound of it because by the you system saying it is very yeah. clever yeah because once they take the enforcement from you because as a parent you've got to discipline mm. you've got to discipline your child not physically mm. but even spiritually how many families do you know here that take their kids to the church or to the mosque how many we're always chasing money mm. it's the bills the, the, the pressure bills. like Yes. All the time, uh, this, all the time, that, all the time, this. Now, the other thing why, why relationships and parenting becomes very hard yeah. is the mother and the father not speaking the same language. Mom says yes, dad says no. Mm. There's a divide and rule. Kids are going to clock up on these things. As you can see, guys, we are in Putney. It is in is Putney it's Bridge. Putney Bridge, yeah. yeah? So this is Mindset's local area, so he's going to tell us about it. Actually, he invited us here. We don't usually come here because we are mm. from East London and it was a bit of a journey for us, but it is a lovely place. I actually love it. So Mindset, tell us a bit, what is it? Um, this is Putney Bridge, uh, one of the oldest bridges in London. Yeah. Um, uh, we have the, one of the oldest uh, uh, graveyards. Some of those graveyards like back there in the background there are like 300 years you know 300 years then we have obviously we have Putney High Street yeah. for your local shopping then yeah. uh, obviously Putney schools we have the Putney Pier which is right down there yeah and it's a really lovely place you know security very good schools are very good um, neighborhood is not very far from the city it's just about 10 minutes 10 from here minutes. to to central London I love yeah it. to I central love, London um, 
and uh, yeah Waterloo is also down the road it's not yeah. far from here yeah yeah really and truly it's just uh, it's uh, the airport is not very far as well mm. it's about it's about 15 minutes drive airport which one Gatwick is well, it Heathrow Heathrow yeah how can Heathrow be this way I think of it like no, 406 no 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 no, no. It's, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's that side yes yeah. Heathrow yeah it's about 15 minutes because when I was coming I'm thinking we are going towards Croydon and you just say this is not anywhere no, 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 near no, no. Croydon it's not no? anywhere it's about an hour from Croydon is where it? we are yes yeah. about an hour yeah. An hour drive. Of our train is about 45 minutes to Croydon. Yeah, uh, yeah it's a nice local area. Uh, I love the place. I really love yeah, it because nice. I mean, look, look at the buses, like the transport yeah. system, then um, mm. everything, the bridge. Like I like the structures. Yeah, obviously, we have Fulham that it's side. Very, yeah. uh, that's where my uh, my son is going to play football from. Yeah. Uh, he's going to go to go into the academy. That's next year. Um, the other thing I would leave for Ugandan parents about Zadeba na Ugandan tea. Um, let me change a to clear this out. Is yeah. let us try for parents that have kids, especially in the diaspora. Yeah. You could be having issues with the mother of the child, whatever the issues are. But as a as a, as a father, be around. As as a mother, make it easier for your uh, for your baby father to be around their kids because that's where some of our kids. They're growing up so empty, you know. Mm. We, they, they don't know what love is. They don't know what what to do when. I mean, how to be guided. No, let's not just be around physically, but even financially, emotionally. I know there's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of uh, you know politics, you know, between the man and the woman. Yeah. But let us at least try to be around the kids. It's mm. very important. Yeah. fathers out there mothers make it easy mm -hmm. this system favors you yeah. we know that but try to encourage try to support them so you're really supporting your side of things no no, like no, no. I, don't, I, I don't i don't like yeah, I don't, you need to support i don't like taking well. sides women, like, i don't like taking sides because us. that's the problem be there when the women need you the mm. mothers be present like mm. be present fathers i don't be like taking sides on, um, or special occasions like birthdays yes. yes i don't like taking sides actually like, like i said <laughs> i don't want to sound like i, I don't want to sound like i'm supporting men yeah and i don't want to sound like i'm bashing women no yeah we working we, together we need to work together working doesn't together, matter what yeah. the differences are yeah. because i see it from my kids mm. i could be having issues with my you know with my missus yeah but at the end of the day i, I grew up in a house where my father and my mother were not there mm. i missed that you know and some sometimes in school i used to see if our fathers used to behave around their you know their you know their sons and stuff like that i didn't know i i, I never had that feeling mm. so why would i want to take it away from my you know from my kids you know it's very important let's not take sides there's always all oh, women are doing this all oh, men are doing that but at the end of the day this argument you're not gonna it's not about winning it's about doing what's right yeah. because who, the people that are suffering is those little human beings. It affects them. It affects their education. It affects their development. It affects their emotions. It affects so many things. Uh, it's about like you, um, you like talking about love. Mind say you have yes. this project, a club love. Yes. A club love yes. show was online, yes. and people was it like, have I known you? What was it like? <laughs> Because I used to see you yeah. uh, online show and I see mindset a love love show and people used to like it. People used to come on yeah. and say, give their views and experience. The show, the show, is, I, show. I, 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 I put a pause to the show because of yeah. my schedule. I'm back in school. Yeah, you know, having a business as well, parenting. So I'm trying to, I'm trying to get on top of things. Oh, okay. By December the 23rd, I'm, I'm, I'm planning to relaunch the show again. Yes, but it's, it was a nice experience because I got to learn a lot of things. Yeah. Um, I, I'm, um, I helped a lot of people find love. And yes, dude. Yeah. I don't do it free though. You don't do it free? How no, much is it? How much I is the service? Free. Is it a dating Time site is or money, what? My is darling, it? my kids yeah. are growing up. I don't want to be on the internet not earning money. I don't yes, do it I free. Think no. You know people's. No, I don't. <laughs> people pay for this yes. service. So, how much is it? Do you want to let the people know? Because no, if when you the come show to me, you're if you're home, coming to me and you're looking for love, yeah. I'm going to charge you sixty pounds. Sixty pounds. Yes, I charge is that you sixty. If they find the person or just I'm, like consultation. 
consultation is probably about 20, 20, 20 pounds. You consult right. with me. Okay. That's for 10 minutes. Mm. Yeah, and you know, you, I'll charge you. So, how do people get in touch with you? Mindset? Do you give them your phone number? Yeah, my what phone are number. Your pages? My phone number is plus uh, plus four four seven eight four eight two four two three five one. That's my direct line. And uh, I have a page on Facebook. It's called Mindset Vibes. Uh, you can reach me there. I'm on actually TikTok as well. TikTok as well. Yes. People can reach you. Yeah, you can reach me on TikTok as Mindset okay. Vibes. Yeah. Uh, you can reach me on uh, on Instagram as Mindset Uganda. Do you have YouTube? Uh, no. No, no YouTube. I don't. I don't so have Mindset, YouTube. because you talked about like you know the money aspect. Because as for now, we cannot afford doing free things because we have like yeah, time family, is money, time darling. is money, and yeah. stuff and all that. But it just reminded me because I think mm. um, during the um, you subscribe to Noob, that is the national unity platform. I subscribe um, to People Power. Peop so People Power, not Noob, yeah? I subscribe because to Because I remember people there is a time mindset because yeah. Uganda just had the uh, general elections, new president and all that. So there was all these like, you know, the campaigns going on. And I remember seeing a live video from you where you say you keep on talking, encouraging people, inspiring them, but there is no pay for that. So were you expecting like um, um, Noob or People Power to pay you? Because they, I just had some people say, mindset, who appointed listen, you? Listen, who gave you listen, the this, job? this is one thing that people have to, have yeah. to know. Everything in life has got a price. Yeah. Everything in life has got a price. Sometimes you say things in the heat of the moment. What do you mean to be all good in the heat of the moment? Because this is going to Uganda. Yeah. Sometimes you say things in the heat of the moment. Not because you're expecting pay, because this is more like it's, it's more volunteering. Okay. You know, it's more like activism. Yeah, it but was activism. Sometimes when you do so much activism and there's no appreciation, you're getting bashed, you're forced to say things. Not because that's what you're expecting. Mm. Me, I don't like, I, I'm not afraid to say things. Doesn't matter. I will say what's on my mind and I believe that the price has to be appreciation. Appreciate me. Because I mean I'm I'm living in this country. Look where we live in. Why would I why would I be concerned about politics in Uganda? But because I hold Uganda dear at my heart. You could subscribe to any other party. Mm. You could subscribe to NRM or you could subscribe to UPC, whatever God knows. Yeah. But as as people power, I believe that people we have our power. Once the power is taken away, we have to do something. Oh. So much is happening back home. And uh, I'm as a as a Bobby Wine supporter musically. Uh, I I got very passionate about Bobby Wine. I like Bobby Wine's music. Yeah. I'm very passionate about him being a family man. These are the, the reasons why I got attached to Bobby Wine. Yeah, he's the same generation as me. Have I you like met him? Were you in contact with him? Uh, I mean, when the uh, backlash happened. Um, we have spoken one or two times. Okay. Yeah, one or two times. Yeah. Is um he's a very smart man, and uh, he, I mean he's he's got very inta good intentions for his country, mm. and um he's a new generation. Yeah. yeah. So when you say that, so you say you were not like um really asking for money, like even if just it was, into even the... if it was, yeah. even if it was, yeah. which I wasn't. Yeah. I mean the reason I was doing that is because sometimes anything it, it could be football where it's a, it's a peaceful football match yeah. and something happens and they you know there's a kicking off doesn't mean people are trying yeah. to fight in a football match no it's just yeah. it's just um between every two quarter in the moment mm. and we say things and you know but having said that however yeah. even the politicians we campaign for are not working for free in this country everything goes by the hour you know what i mean i'm not saying i'm asking for money from from wherever yeah. but you have to know that everything has got its price when i give my time i expect my time to be appreciated okay. do you know what i mean so you felt like you were not appreciated at that time i felt like there was so much all. that was going yeah. on i was getting bashed for having very strong opinions mm. which i'm a very i'm a person who's got very strong opinions mm. about religion about politics about family yeah. you know yeah. I, I avoid doing what the majority do you know, I don't want to say things that people want to hear. That's not me. I always want to speak my mind. Your mind. If I'm not happy about something, I'm going to say it. Yeah. yeah. So what about mindset? What do you do like, um, at the moment? Like you at the moment, I'm in yeah. school. Um, I'm, I'm completing my engineering, uh, electrical engineering. Um, I've got a business. Yeah. And uh, I've, I've, I'm a mental and health counselor as well. Mm. Yes, uh, mental health counselor. Mm. I'm working on uh, being a, a love coach. I'm doing that online. So that's where the Chilab Love Show is going. Love. I believe. I, I believe in love. I believe in yeah, love, Claire. Yeah, yeah. I believe in love. Mm. 
I believe, I believe in love as well. I believe, yeah. in love. I believe that the whole existence yeah. of us here is based on love. Mm. You so, know. what about you earlier on mentioned about the salon? Is it uh, your dad's business? Are you in partnership? Because we're in I've partnership had, and yeah. I've, I've actually, uh, I'm actually opening up an enterprise for my own branch. Your own branch? Yes. Where is it going to be open? Is it like uh, finalized? Like It's in Stratham. Uh, Stratham. Yeah. Yes. Just tell us about the existing one. If people want to come there, support the business, come Ugandans, and do their I'll, I'll say, I'll say this. Ugandans don't support. If Ugandans you don't support. Do you know Ugandans. how many people I've had on this show who no, have no, no, said no, no, Ugandans no, no, don't no, no, support no, no, no. one another? Ugandans this is just... do, don't, do not support their own. I would even be wasting my time to say come here because most people in Croydon don't know where we are. What's the percentage of customers oh, that we have that come to us? give people information on there, you'll be surprised. No, 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 no. Yeah? I'm going to tell you this. So I... your, your clients are not Ugandan no, clients, no? just barbering yeah but ugandans would rather let me give you a scenario claire yeah i'm enjoying that when i go to a job 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 when um, yeah, Sierra 77 JD. Yeah. yeah, we open seven days a week as I'm speaking now. They're actually working. Yeah. So, yeah. Ugandan, um, double Gambia mindset, they were supporting, and no. Gambia in that shop, more than a mindset. Mindset, now we have like our online, Chibozi Bozi, mindset, I call up Feles, Imania Bichi. Did you hear that? Have you had it before? People, people, people I want to get a bit. Now, what you would you like your mindset? Like people would say, to, to, you know, the internet gives the freedom, gives idiots the freedom to yeah. say what they want. Yeah. Because back in the days, idiots used to stay in the bar yeah. and get drunk and talk about, you know, divorce, divorce, and stuff yeah. like that. But and now it's going online. But now, every, the internet gives you the yeah. freedom to say, but to say things that you want to say. Mm. I don't know if you've been following what's been happening in Uganda lately. Yeah. There's a man came out all sooner. Yeah. And this is actually going to help. Mm. Because it's actually setting a trend. Now, when you say things about somebody's brand, they can, can actually sue you. Mm. 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 Yeah. 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 The media is there, but you have to use it responsibly. I could come, Claire, I could come online and say, Abantu go get into engineer for the sake of viewership. Because remember, Abantu are reacting in a new way, into a into a new onesie. It's into which one onesie? Everyone is interested. Mm. You know what I mean? Oh, it it it. Amaguri amavi gatunda. You know what I mean? Yeah. There is nothing like uh, bad news in the media. Mm. Anything bad that's negative. Humans we are wired negatively. The, yeah. I tell you, this is one thing that you on the media right now. Yeah. Your competitors will always find something about you. Mm. Whether it's in the past, whether it's fabricated, or it's not. But this is a piece of advice I must give to you because I've been on the media for a long time. Mm. You know, we know Timon Guri is very strong. You need to be very strong because if the media is not for the faint hearted, it will bash you. Mm. It bashes the big corporations, and the big corporations is bashing you. You know, you shocks me, but you know what? What do you to be moving all in November? You know what? I'm not going to pay attention. At one time, Nani yeah. Indimo. I think it was Ramadan. About me, I can get into my bigger. Yeah. Not even breaking on my fast. Yeah. Then look, I got a phone call from a friend of mine. Say, oh, we oh, take a decoy for the first time when I phone attack on the media. I'm like, oh, only the coach. You know, I'm like, somebody sent me a, a post. Yeah. Claire, Nagao, na uli danga for your running stomach. Na uli danga na sechi mani de. But from that time, the neighbors they chibuzo ne ngamba anti. Do I know these people? But we are going to be able to do it. But in a bill, we are going to be able to do it. Then we are going to pay attention. But I'm not going to say it didn't affect me. Because when you are going to be able to do it, you are going to be able to do it. But why would people come up with things like this? Mm. 
But Nenzi you can remember, you know what? Princess Diana has been through it. Abantu mm. wogira ku katunda Claire. Who the hell do you think you are for people not to speak about you? Mm. People are gonna speak about you whether it's good or it's bad. Mm. But if you're in the media, yeah. remember like you now, mm. once you have the content, yeah. people will try to make sure yeah. that people don't come to your content. Because it's a competition, but yeah. 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 it's a competition. Yeah, it's natural. Mm. So, if you move it away, you can get a lesson. You can lesson. Mm. The most important bit is Abanabo. People that care about you, mm. your husband, your brother, mm. your mother. Because we've been talking about anyway. Yeah. Yes. At the end of it. At the end of at it the all. End of the day. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mindset. So tell us a bit. Kubanga kakati embele di wo kale wano mu UK bagula we bintu every single we get number. So but COVID is still upon us. I know most people have had their second uh, two doses of vaccines, but people are expected to have boosters as well. Mm. Yeah. So to know the muka we we have COVID. Um, I think COVID. As I choose to get to wear them, the way we live, whether we like it or not, we're never gonna, life is not going to be the same again. Whether you have the two vaccines, you have a booster, then you probably have another booster. Personally, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not subscribing to, to anything. I believe that my immune system is your name. Hey, so we're having a no, vaccination no, 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 no. mindset. No, I'm not. Your workplace, um, where is it? You have to, it's a question. Yeah, the only thing I have you against the vaccine. Nah, 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 nah. This is one thing that you, you have to know. Is a lot of people not asking questions. Mm. Yeah? Yeah. And the question is, if the vaccine is safe, why is the government making you sign a document if anything happens to you? Why? I'm asking you. If I'm promoting if I'm promoting no, yeah, I should be asking you. If I'm promoting and I say, if you wear this jacket, you're going to be cold. Mm. But I make you sign a document that, oh, if you get pneumonia, please don't come back to me. What is it? Would you back? Whoever wants to, want, wants to, whoever wants to get the vaccine, yeah. I get that different. Yeah. Okay? To keep yourself, yourself safe and those around you safe. But I must say, it has to be your immune. It comes down to your immune system. Exercise. You know, eat well. Exercise, eat well, get enough sleep. Because mm. it's one of the Yeah. You know what I mean? Go out, have the vaccine if you want to. Anti vaxxers like myself. Yeah. I'm, I have a lot of questions. If the government, there's a lot of people here, you actually know if you need a vaccine, then maybe. Yeah. Then maybe I'll get it. Yeah. If they can clear that up, I'll go today, right now. Yeah. But before that, yeah. I'm not sure. You're not sure, so you haven't had your vaccine. I'm not saying I would never gonna... have it. Yeah. And I'm not never. saying that uh, you shouldn't have it. Mm. All I'm saying is keep yourself safe, mm. keep those around you safe, mm. and make sure you practice social distance. Wow. I mean, stay away from the clubs. And COVID was a good thing. Mm. Yeah, people stayed at home with their families and we went to more. <laughs> so there was a good side as yes. well. But then there was like an increase in domestic violence as well because people are not used to spending more time because you with might, one you, another. You, you, you got married to the wrong people. That's why. <laughs> they exposed you. It's about your fakeness. <laughs> ah, mindset. Yes. But you might have to do it. But you might have to As per now, business cut in series. You get a blue. You become a blue. No, 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 no. as a business and you're still surviving man mm. whatever you're doing please keep doing it mm. well, but we lost 70 percent of our business mm. you know the government just came in to help us but whatever was given we're paying it back into to the bills you've mm. got a mortgage to pay mm. you know what i mean you have um yes they helped us when it came to business rates as well mm. because they were freezed yeah. but we're talking about generally for other people who don't have them yeah. you know I've had as well people who have started new businesses, new businesses. Oh yes, online, online is online, booming. Yeah. You know, online is booming, but we're talking about people who have buildings. Yeah. People, I mean, what are they going to do? I mean, they have the bills to pay, you have to run to pay. Yeah. You know, what are they going to do? You know, we have to talk about people like that. Yes. Yeah. The other thing, uh, Claire, before you go, I'd like to thank you for giving me the opportunity um, to host 
post me anytime you want to post me and uh, Ugandans out there wherever you are this is for you please learn to support your own yeah. this cancer keeps growing day in and day out learn to support your own Claire has a YouTube channel Claire Classy please subscribe to her yeah. and please support just go on there, like, subscribe. You never know, you might pick up one or two things. Yeah, and what about you? Do you have any new projects coming up? Anything uh, that, you know, pay for me at to the moment, support you at the as moment, well? Um, at the moment, I'm not working on anything new. I'm working on bettering what's already there. My mindset movement. Yeah. I like to talk about love. I like to talk about parenting. I love to talk about money. I love to talk about business. Yeah. yeah. Right. So we learned something from that. Yeah. And um, mindset like to thank you so much for your time yeah. we know you are a really busy person mm. mindset does a lot of things like you've had is mm. in education he works he's uh, creating a new business he's in business mm. he has an um, online dating show and all these things so mm. we would like to thank you so much we appreciate your time yes, thanks humbled. for coming by I'm at humbled. the classy chat show mm. and uh, please if you enjoyed this show um, mm. with mindset please let us know you can put the comment down below yeah let us know what you think of the topics we discuss um please watch the video like it and share it most of all yeah yes. so let's support one another we need to let's uh, try <laughs> yes so we will see you next time take care bye bye, bye.